just landed in Honolulu. We're gonna go diving with sharks with my friend Danny. I have never even seen a shark in person other than at like an aquarium. So I'm pretty nervous, especially like with all the shark bite activities I've seen on my For You page. And maybe that's just because we've been talking a lot about shark diving here recently. So I don't know, but I'm feeling pretty good. We have two days to film as much content as possible. With that being said, we have to be up at 6 a.m. So I'm ready to get in the car. And okay. All right, let me go find a hotel. Taco Bell Hall. <laughs> Austin got this deluxe craving box. Then I got French wrap supreme, as all baddies do. Then I got beefy five-layer burrito. Yes. Uh, we got this free taco because it took so long that they gave us this to butter us up. And then I got a taco blast. <laughs> as bad as Taco Bell is, this shit's so good. I looked to the side <laughs> that hard. Well, we just got to what we thought was going to be our hotel for the first night. And they just said they're sold out. We didn't book a room before because we're both super ADHD and last night as fuck. Fingers crossed that they have a room. We're at least an hour away from the island that we have to be at dressed and ready to go at 7.30 in the morning to go dive with sharks. So now we have to sleep in the car. Neither one of us have a phone charger that will work in this car. Oh so. yeah, the phone situation is gonna be fucked. All right, bye. All right, bye. We're getting on the freeway. So I'll see you guys in an hour. We're going to park the car somewhere on North Shore and get a nice chunky four hours of sleep <laughs> before diving with sharks when it would probably be a good idea to be alert. So I hope y'all enjoy. And I hope we have our limbs in two days. Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? It is 6.45 in the morning. Bean's gotta pee, so I'm gonna make this quick. But we slept in the car last night. I slept in the back seat, she slept in the front. This is where we slept. <laughs> so this was the sleeping arrangement last night. So right here is where we slept last night. Yeah, that's a reminder to book your tickets or book your hotel before you actually get to your destination, but you probably already know that. All right, up the road. Time to go find a bathroom and then hit the boat. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, I am honestly so stoked to go shark diving. It's gonna be so much fun. I've wanted to do this since I was a kid. My dad used to do tiger shark stuff back in the day. He would have like a big stick and be behind the cameraman while the cameraman was filming sharks for like stuff like Shark Week and stuff. You know how you see all that shark footage. A lot of times there's a guy behind a cameraman with a stick kind of keeping the sharks off the camera. And that's what my dad did when I was a kid. So as a kid, I was always like, shit, that would be so cool to die with tiger sharks and all that. And now we get to do it. So it's going to be a good fucking day. So he's inside getting some sandwiches and a coffee and then some face wipes and toothpaste and stuff. And then we're off to the boat. Uh, but they leave in 15 minutes and it's 12 minutes away. So she got to hurry the fuck up. Look at the baby. <laughs> it's a Man, triple shot of energy. That's what I need. Oh, 
it's just such a good Saturday, bro. Here's your breakfast. This is our breakfast. These are supposed to be like some insane burritos recommended by Danny. Breakfast. It's a good morning. It's only 10 a.m. We got a full day ahead. I'm gonna take a nap. We're only here for two days. There's no time for nap. Shark diving. We got to see these spinning dolphins. Basically, they are known for jumping up and spinning out of the water. Then um, we got to the first location, not much going on. There was no activity whatsoever. Moved to the second location, saw a big ass tiger shark fin, must have been between eight and 10 feet. And got in the water, didn't see anything. So then we went to a third location where we saw a Galapagos shark. Yeah. It's like kind of a medium sized one. What was it like Four five? Feet. It was pretty playful. It was going like right next to us. I was. Uh, pretty nervous i started to warm up towards the end i wish that i had better lungs but if i could have held my breath better and if i didn't have baby soap all up in my nose and eyes it probably would have calmed down a little bit <laughs> All right, so Leslie has never tried sugar cane, so we found some sugar cane here. I want to see a little reaction to it. Okay, um, I'm trying sugar cane for the first time. Here it goes. You supposed to eat it? No, you just you don't swallow it, but chew all the sweet part out and swallow that with your spit, and it, it's just sugar. This is how they make cane sugar. It comes from this. You don't gotta put the whole thing in your mouth. Mmm. <laughs> I've been there too, whatever. God shaved ice. <laughs> I don't know what's what. Oh, All right, it's morning number two. Um, I feel pretty sick. I've been sick since I got off the plane. Typically, I think it's just because the air is so dirty in there. And it messes with my allergies and stuff, so I took a day quill. We've got our coffee. Everything here is vegan, by the way. We were told by a lot of people to come by the Sunrise Shack for breakfast, so that's where we're at. Um, I got this little tropical acai bowl, so gonna take first bite of that. It's got a lot of like fresh coconut, um, mango, pineapple, oats, honey, your typical stuff. Mm, really good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yesterday. We went and got a little bit of sushi and got a lot of extra ginger because I didn't feel good and I wanted like like real energy. I didn't want to drink another coffee and like have a crash. So I'm gonna take this immunity shot. It's got a lot of ginger. Um, yeah, it's not gonna taste great, but whatever. Mm. It's because I doubled up on the cups. <laughs> terrible that means it's working we can't live without avocado toast so but the bean hates tomatoes so i guess i'll be taking over
stayed in this cute little hostel called Backpackers. It was only like what, 160 a night? No, 109. 109? That's insane. Okay, like, just look. Okay, so this is the entrance. We're packing up to leave right now, but it's got a cute little couch, it's got a TV, um, little dinner table, whatever, um, kitchen, and then comes with two bedrooms, but you have to book it by the room. This is the bathroom. And so there's potential that you could have a roommate. We did not have one. This is like great if you're not wanting to stay in your room and you're like somebody like us where we just like get up and go every day. It's not luxury, but it's super easy. The people here are really cool. Lots of island vibes over here.